Hey there friends, how's it going? I've recently played Baldur's Gate 3, as I'm sure many of you had, and I was just the worst person ever. And it really kind of got me inspired to play more games like this. Unfortunately, there isn't many, but there is one I remember, Disco Elysium, where you're playing as a cop. Same kind of idea, you get stats and you get roles and all this, and I wanted to play it and just be the worst cop I could be. And here's our main character. Handsome, isn't he? I damaged my health because I turned on the, the light and I'm very hungover. So apparently we're some kind of cop. Um, I lied and pretended I had a badge. He asked me and I don't know where it is. So <laughs> I used my specialty. Just a blatant lie. And we have to go remove a body from a tree, apparently. I vaguely remember that. Oh, there's a tree. Uh, and a body, even more importantly, I guess. I just don't know how to get into that little garden now. Maybe down this alley, perhaps? There you are, kid. Let go of your nose without throwing up. This'll work. Or not. Just let it out, man. Sorry, it's my first day. Just ruining the crime scene, you know, throwing a load of DNA all over here. The lieutenant hands you a blue checkered handkerchief. I don't need your pity. I don't need that shit. Can you stop throwing rocks at that body? Like, we're right here. My conscience is telling me to talk to the kids so we can get drugs. Kid, you wanna hang out? I'm not an arc. <laughs> Kuno, I, I threw up and I can't investigate the body now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's getting a bit aggressive. Physical instrument. Shot him down. Yeah, get him. This'll gain his respect. Listen to me, kiddo. Ow. <laughs> I've fallen over and I can't get up. I'm so pathetic. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> I think I'm passing out. I'm sure it's just heartburn. Oh god. Try to remain conscious. Wait, what did I die? I think I'm dead. I should have never tried to attack a child. Uh, who am I kidding? I would have done it again, and I will. I'll succeed this time. Uh, I don't know if something's wrong with my guy. I, I can't get up. I can do this, which is pretty neat. <laughs> I can be a Beyblade. I can't get up. Is it broken, or am I doing something wrong? Yeah, something's wrong. Even in the inventory, he's just lying off to the side. Okay, third time lucky. This is my go. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, I, I hurt myself. I tried to grab the tie here and it didn't work. All right, this time I will smack that child. I will be the hero. Empathy legendary. Figure out what's going on with this kid. Can I do this? No. <laughs> Kuno's ease of sea. Kuno's Kuno dish. Kuno's. The amount of times I, I'm going to hear Kuno is just too much, isn't it? I can't find the option to hit the kid, so I guess I'll just end this for now. I'm not very, um... Dexterous? <laughs> Am I gonna be able to climb this without killing myself? Okay, I can't get near that body because I just throw up every time. I, I didn't shit myself, I just threw up all over myself. <laughs> if I can mask the smell with something from the greenhouse, maybe I'll be able to get in there. I feel like Kim should be leading this investigation, not my person who seems completely unhinged. Oh, I found an orange bum hat, whatever that means. Nice. Orange bum hat. Epic. Oh wait, a gardener. Hello? Wait, who gardens in the snow? <laughs> Street sign reads, fuck the police. I'm not looking for anyone right now. I just want to solve a crime. We need some anno ammonia. D oh, I got some. That was easy. I thought I'd have to like, I don't know, beat her up or something. What is this F the police business? No, the street sign says that. Point to it. Oh, I need the gloves as well. Can you give me the- Oh my god, my guy's very persuasive. Pigs go home. I, I don't really believe that you're just sitting here by chance with all these signs around you. Okay, let's put on the gloves. And now this ammonia. How do we use this? Wait, I used it and it made it worse. Oh, this is way worse. Oh, that was a nasty noise, but I think he's done. The ammonia didn't help at all. This is bullshit. I don't want to do this anymore. I don't want to be a cop. Okay, yeah, Fair point. We don't want to get this shit together. We should go talk to the locals. Oh, I thought you said we should torture the locals, but we should go talk to the locals. Ah, uh, so I need to actually research this. Volumetric shit compressor. This is getting my shit together. So that'll take about 30 minutes to research. Is that real time or in game, I wonder? Hello, sir. Step right in. I am the law. <laughs> There's no need for that, but anyway. Maybe you can show me some real police work, sir. Like in the books. You failed to deduce anything substantial. Um, no, I'm not going to do that, apparently. <laughs> I'm supposed to be smart. Um, I, I'm sorry, I can't deduce anything. <laughs> Damaged morale. So is this like my physical health and this is my mental health? Oh, it's in game time. That's good. We, we're like halfway there. If only getting your shit together in real life only took 30 minutes, that would be great. I asked him what is he hauling and he said high grade narcotics, illegal firearms, stuff like that. He's merely joking. Uh, oh, okay. I was about to arrest him. Or right, you know what? I'm going to do it anyway. You're under arrest. 
Oh, it didn't allow me. So there's some strike going on. All these trucks are backed up. But right now, I'm trying to deal with the dead body. So I'll come back here later. I'm taking everything from this car. I don't know if it's mine or not. I need to report my badges missing. I hope this guy doesn't hear me because I lied to him. Oh, no, he did. Never mind. Good, good. Oh no, I don't have my gun. Convince them that you didn't lose your gun. Quick, this is your thing. You lie. Finally, he did something. So this is my vehicle then. Probably good, because I was trying to rob a lot of stuff from it. Volumetric shit compressor. Oh, it's done. There, he still is. Looking right through you with his white eyes. Okay, come on. You can do this. Yes, he finally succeeded. He didn't vomit. Oh, he's missing a lot of his armor. I hear you, cop. Talking shit about the Kuno. Fuck you, Kuno. <laughs> I've heard your name enough. Yes, I want the boot. Give me the boot. <laughs> He's upset with me. No, I don't want to let go of the boot. Lieutenant, you seem distressed. Why? There may be clues inside the boot. Sounds like a plan. All right, I just need to get the lieutenant out of here. I want those boots. Who are you, dead man? Please answer me. I'm gone. What? Oh, no, I don't know if I want you to answer me anymore. I hate you. You stink and you're boring. It's the power of your imagination. Wow, isn't that magical? Well, I hope this imagination gives me an answer. I'm trying to encourage him to just shoot down the body. I'll blow his head off. No, you won't. You've got a good shot. Easy does it, partner. You can do this. Oh, he missed. He's going to give me a try with the gun. I'm not going to be able to do this. Come on, man. Oh, <gasps> he actually did it. Oh. Is is he okay? He landed a bit rough. Communism. Wait, he just said communism killed him. But then again, this is my imagination. And I don't think I can lock up communism. Oh, he's trying to give me a high five. Nah. <laughs> just stare at him, pretend not to understand, look away. What is wrong with you, you sharpshooting arsehole? <laughs> the narrator's giving out to me. I think I'm gonna try and remove his boots. I'm just gonna <laughs> really come into the oh, come on, give me his boots. It's humid, it's hard. I damaged my health looking in the guy's mouth. I can heal up. <laughs> it might be a good idea. Removal of the boots is left for processing. When am I gonna get them? No, I'm just gonna omit the boots. I'm not gonna write them in the journal. I'll come out later and try and get them. Search the body one more time thoroughly. Three percent chance. Yeah, I can do this. Damn it. Can't he just hang out here for a while longer so I can search him later? Wait, the boots? No, I need the boots. Don't take the body away. It's too late to take him into processing today. Yes. Okay, good. Don't know. Did they put the body in the car? Am I not going to get to steal those boots? I really wanted those boots. Damn it. They did put the body in the car. I hate that. All right. So there's a big gate I got to get through. And apparently this guy is guarding the gate button. Oh no, because I'm so weak. Even just trying to stand up straight has tired me. I am the police and I need you to comply now. Take a step closer. This will go well. I can either fight the guy. 8% chance. Or pretend to be a racist. 83% chance. I'll try and fight him first, because it says I can retry this if I don't get it. Fisty coughs. Oh, okay. Um, no, I was just joking, man. Let go of me, please. Oh, no, I think, I think he's gonna kill me. Uh-oh. I, I, I think I'm dying. <laughs> How many times is this person gonna die? Luckily, this time I had a save file. I'm just gonna push the guy out of the way. I can do this. Yeah. Oh, no, he didn't even react. Okay, pretend to be racist this time. Uh, that worked easily. That's a bit worrying. You need to internalize what you have heard here today. Then return to me. What? I don't want to do that. Can I just attack him? I just wanted to pretend to be racist. Attack this man. Come on. It is still like almost a 1 in 10 chance. Unfortunately, this is one of the nine of ten. Locked. Knock him out. <laughs> All right, just accuse the cafeteria guy of killing him. I thought maybe it would be an easy ending. Uh, my necktie is telling me to dine and dash. Uh, <laughs> because I stayed here and I can just not pay. Am I insane? Slip away on notice. 17% chance. Go for it. <laughs> He's running for the door. What do you mean slip away unnoticed? How did that work? Real mature, man. Thank you very much. I'm out of here. <laughs> I can't believe that one works. Please don't call me again. Why does she seem angry with you? I'm calling this woman to try and figure out who called the police. And I just started accusing her. She quit the restaurant because of me, apparently. At the end of the call, she mentioned that... <laughs> The manager of this place um, she's interested in, and for some reason I agreed to try and, like, be matchmaker here. But I just, like, ran out of here, so I don't know if he's gonna be very respectful to me. Hold on, what is this money anyway? <laughs> just play dumb. What are you, 
Brain damaged? Actually, I might be. I don't think I have any money. <laughs> Proceed. Yes, I'm just more of a pain trying to be dealt with here. Why on earth did you have to break the skewer? I just break things. It's the way I am. Did she say anything else about me? You know, did, did she say anything about me? She said she was flattered. It was just bad timing. I still didn't pay him. I'm just gonna... Just turn around and hope that he forgets. I got 32 minutes before I become a racist, apparently. I'm also a feminist now. I claim that somewhere, I think it was actually to the cafeteria manager. I don't even know why. It was useful at the time, so our character's a huge feminist now. That woman on the phone also mentioned that she thinks I pawned my gun, so I'm gonna go try and look for my gun. Before we go on, you seem to be well off enough. Can you give me some money? I, I think this is a bookstore. I don't think they sell guns here. I might be in the wrong place. Yeah, these are all just books. I can't kill people with these. Oh, she doesn't want me going through those curtains. Oddly enough, the more she tries to draw you away from the curtains, the more alluring they become. That's not odd at all for me. I really want to go through these curtains just because she doesn't want me to. Can I get her to leave the room somehow? I can't find anything to distract her. I think I'm just going to rip open that curtain and deal with the consequences. Pull open the curtains. Just don't even talk to her. I don't care. You can't stop me. I'll open them. <laughs> Wait, come here. Let's talk this through before you do anything extreme. What is behind there? Okay, fine. Let's have a discussion then. It's just a storage room for employees. Oh, of course. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> it's just because this place is cursed. Yeah, I'm cursed too. I'll be fine. I'm trying to convince her I can banish the curse. Convince her, come on. Yes! Wait, what if I don't want to lie? No, we'll say, ma'am, I came here to help. I've handled paranatural situations before. I have returned from the void. <laughs> yes. I just said it's necessary to drink the spirits in order to contact the void. I should have realized. Perhaps you truly are the one to deliver this woman from the doom. Oh, I just became a racist. Anyway, I can probably go in now. I'm convincing. She thinks I'm a ghostbuster now. Yeah, a hand on your heart. On my honor. <laughs> the entity takes the form of a woman. A witch, probably. What? I bet she's just kidnapped a woman back there and she's blaming this on a curse. I'm just going along with whatever she says. <laughs> like, yes, they came in the chimney. Mid-conversation, I became a racist. But luckily, I can just use it to get past him and then forget it by the looks of it. It's like, oh, great, Kevin. You have a game where you can be anything you want what will you be <laughs> i became a racist all right let's see what's behind here break down the door i'm not strong enough for that luckily i have the key uh kim maybe you should go first it's even worse than i thought it's a haunted gym he's listing all the cool titles i could have gotten and what did he give me i guessed i was cool cop but no i'm the sorry cop the cop who's sorriest i'm sorry <laughs> and the flashlight works a lot better if you hold it in your hand flashlights go in hand <laughs> he's telling me i have a flashlight basically like i knew i had one i just i kind of forgot it <laughs> i've been wandering around here in the dark all right let's go kim you stay with me we're gonna be safe here we're just gonna live in here now she's too afraid to come back because of the curse and if we never come out she'll assume anyone that goes back here will die this must be where the entity lives all right i'm gonna knock then knocking it harder knock even harder uh, oh i I hurt myself. You feel something in your chest. I I think I died from knocking too hard on a door. <laughs> screaming isn't happening on account of extreme shortness of breath. I'm just screaming now. <laughs> this is the curse. Beware. <laughs> Luckily, I saved when we just about... Wait. What just happened? I got an achievement for phase shifting. I went through like a wall or something. But yeah, luckily I've gotten used to saving because apparently I'm so fragile a gentle wind would kill me. Where am I now? <laughs> it goes into some underground. Ice spare fridge. Crack open the door. What's in there? Please be food. Ice cream maker. We can start an ice cream business here. We got the fridge, the ice cream maker. What are you doing? Yell hello into the furnace. Yeah, why not? Hello. Oh, someone answered. A safety curtain. I don't know if that would protect you much. It's like, oh, quick, honey, there's someone in the house. Get the safety curtain up. Oh, I kicked the furnace with my foot. I don't even know why, but I'm guessing this is going to give me a heart attack. Yeah. <laughs> For God's sake. I need to heal myself. Okay, instead of kicking it, I'm just going to smear my hands with coal instead. I don't even know why. I don't know who that is, but now smear my cheeks with it. I'm a warrior. I am the reincarnation of an ancient Lamarin warrior. <laughs> Please wipe your face clean, officer. No, never. I can wipe it clean, but I have enough authority to say no. We're exploring this dark place and I need the protection of my war paint. This is not traditional Seminese war paint. 
<laughs> Shut up, conscience, I'm leaving. This is traditional war paint, and it looks really cool. Can I level up this so I can get more? Oh, I think I got more health with that, great. I'm gonna up my pain threshold as well. It's probably a good idea. I sense a lot of pain in my character's future. I still have a mission to pay for damages in that cafe. Can I just ignore that? How do I delete a quest? All right, I gotta find the upstairs. Oh, was it this curtain? Okay, this safety curtain did do something. In fact, it killed me in another reality. So yeah, sorry for berating your safety curtain. Oh, she has a view outside. You know, you have a great apartment for someone who's just in here making dice. Do you have any cursed dice? It's a deal. Yeah, I, I want some cursed dice. Tell me about the murder. <laughs> just shining lights in their faces. You, tell me. Are you looking for... You feel nothing. If anything, it's uncomfortably warm. What? It's uncomfortably warm. I tried to just do a skill check and now it's given me an option to take off my clothes. All right. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm trying to lower my body temperature. My morale got damaged from that. I'm seriously running out of shits to give Kim. Fuck you. Where did this come from? You'll be so confused. I gave up. I can't believe dice were the last straw. Like this is what I, I was saying. Why hasn't her business failed? Let me try it again. It's a 3%. So, um... Yeah, I'm just gonna leave. I'm not gonna take off my clothes, okay? So that was her ghost. Just someone who's making dice in the attic. I should go back to that guy up on the bridge and tell him I'm a racist now. I've been working really hard. <laughs> just shining the light in her face again. I talked to the entity you told me about. Her name is Nea, and she's a novelty dice maker. I'm just gonna, like, play into this and be like, I felt her aura and she's not the one to blame. The source is in the taxidermist shop. I can lie and blame him. He became involved in arts darker than taxidermy and brought the Point. Yeah, I'll blame that. Yeah, I despooked it. <laughs> I don't know. Thank you, officer. Truly. Yeah, no problem at all. <laughs> this lieutenant must be so pissed off. I'm just going on side quests here. The thing is, this big fella is guarding a button to open these doors and just free everyone in this strike. But I have no idea what'll happen when I actually push the button to open the gate. They're all just standing around complimenting this guy. Measurehood is a powerful man. I dream about you all the time. Oh, Measurehead. <laughs> just look at him, the wonderful hunk. Bazik racist. He called me a basic racist, but he's willing to open the door. Now, right in front of his face, I'm gonna unracist myself. Your race descent has only worsened since I last saw you. <laughs> what do you mean, since I last saw you? That was two seconds ago. As soon as I got what I wanted, I was just like, oh, by the way, I'm not a racist anymore. Wait, did he close the door? No, that can't be possible, is it? Oh, I asked this guy for money, and he went to throw me a coin. Catch it. Come on, you can do this. Damn it. It falls on the ground. I got some money. Awesome. I should just ask more people for money. It's worked 50% of the time. Oh, I found cool sunglasses. <laughs> Neat office shades. This is the only room that seems to be open. Wait, the door is locked? But I'm already in here. All right, well, I guess we're committed to this side now. Oh, you want Mr. Everett then? Mr. Everett, that's their boss. Okay. He points to the two joint containers on your right. Okay. These ones? This is his office? I was expecting the boss to be in like this big fancy office building, but no, he just lives in containers. Oh, this is a pretty nice setup, to be fair. I do vaguely remember this guy. The chair you're sitting on has got to be the most uncomfortable. What? I, I got damaged just because the chair is uncomfortable. This guy's trying to give me a check on account of all the trouble I've gone through. I might take the comically large check, but just don't say anything. Is there anything you'd like to say to me? Nah, <laughs> I'll just take the check. God, you're sweating. Your knee is jerking. Oh no, this is not going well. I think I'm about to cry. No, I'm not about to cry. Despair creeps into you. He's about to cry. <laughs> I'm done. No one even likes cops. <laughs> This person, i.e. me, is not made out to be a cop. What if I don't take the check? Because I think that damaged my morale. You can take that comically large check and shove it up your head. I ended up crying again. All right, I can't do this. This guy's a master of mental warfare. Perhaps I need to find my gun first so he can't just use that against me. This guy is the final boss, apparently. In this reality, though, I have the upper hand. I just came in with a crowbar, stared at him, and then ran out the room. Uh, I found some gloves. Can I just take stuff? Oh, I forgot to put on my glasses. They look so cool. No choice but to talk to the union leader. Yeah, the door is locked. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I've got this payphone. A video rental store. Great. Why did I call you? I <laughs> hope you know. Do you need to extend your rental period? Maybe, but I don't even know my name. Okay, well, that was useless. How am I gonna get through this without dying? Control panel. Oh, no, I don't know what this is. I'll just do that button. Uh-oh. 
Well, it brought it down. Maybe there's something in it that I can use. I'm gonna inspect this container. I have a crowbar, right? So I can get in here. I can try and persuade the door to open, <laughs> whatever that means. I guess there might be someone in there. You're back before the cargo container, despite the dirt that surrounds it. It worked! The first try, it worked! What? The hell is that? Mega rich light bending guy. Oh, of course. You can't be serious. <laughs> see, Kim, I'm always right. All right, let's see what's inside of here. Okay, interesting. <laughs> what do I do? Oh, no. I'm warping into another dimension. I'll just say, what is going on in here? <laughs> not too much, actually. Ah, good to hear. I'm not too bad myself. And I am an alcoholic. <laughs> Are you talking about my chin? Yeah, it it's the chin. That's what's weird. Um, I mean... The, the light is kind of warping in here, and as am I. I'm asking the guy for money, but he doesn't have any cash. For, oh wait, I got three! Present a sound investment plan. Yes, give me money. You've somehow managed to fail. Shut up, I'm loading. I'm presenting an investment plan that is sure to fail this time. Oh, I got loads of money! All right, all I had to do is load the game like 15 times. This doesn't solve my problem though. Yeah, sure, you'll definitely get a return on this. The lieutenant stands there. <laughs> I don't blame you. Is there anything else in here that I can interact with? This was the strangest interaction. All right, no. Okay, let's get out of here. <gasps> Something for health. Yes, things are looking up. I got some healed morale. I'm having a deep conversation with Kim in front of this guy while he's just trying to do his taxes. Okay, I've healed with some medicine I found on the floor, and morally I feel great because of my good friend Kim. Hey, that's 25 real. That's good money. Not when you know a weird light being from another dimension. Shove it up your ass. Police officer questions. Do you know there's a mega rich light bending guy inside one of the containers? I might lead with that. You're a fucking idiot, Harry. Oh, he called me a bad name. I thought I was trying to, like, extort him. Wait, so my name is Harry? Oh, wait, he's giving me a card. I was just gonna stand up. Okay, I got a card to get in and out of here now, at least. I should save before I die. I was worried I'd, like, soft-locked my game there. He wants my help with something. I'm just gonna accept it and then betray him at the first opportunity. So I need to open an apartment door for him behind the greenhouse. That seems easy enough. And then I'll get some tips on the case. Oh, sorry, a bit uncoordinated. <laughs> just start bumping into furniture. I'm not gonna even knock, I'm just walking on in there. <laughs> oh, it is just a regular apartment. I wasn't sure what to expect. All right, let's mess up the place. Oh, nice clothes. <laughs> I could use that. What are these? Magnesium. Oh, that'll make me feel better. All I actually had to do was unlock the door, but I am just like rifling through their stuff anyway. I hope he doesn't make me sit down again when I go back to him, because if so, I think I'll just die. There we go. I put on a shirt. I was actually naked. I didn't realize I just had a suit jacket and a tie on this whole time while I've been trying to convince people I'm a cop. Wait, my cloak is there? I saw this, like, jacket floating, and I was like, oh, that looks nice, I'm just collecting clothing. Yeah, now we're talking. I mean, I look just as rough, but oh well. All right, I got some information, something about people showing up to strike that aren't workers, and they're big and strong, and there's some big plot, and I don't know, some other task I need to do. I need to get signatures for this guy. I'm just his errand boy now. I need Isabel and Lillian in the nameless fishing village down the coast to sign the document. Okay. I have so much money and I'm asking this poor woman who doesn't look like she has anything for money. Oh my god, she gave me a gold commemorative pin. All right, thank you. So this is my room, Kim. Should we take a nap here, perhaps? I don't think there's anywhere actually left to take a nap. What? Taught gained hobo cop? Sounds like the worst superhero ever. Well, I guess I'll just embrace it. Yeah, internalize that. Learn how to be hobo cop. Aw, oh, Kim, you idiot. When you came back, you closed the door. I wanted to try and sleep after nine, but I'm locked out. Oh, I have the money now to pay him back. Um, Actually, let's talk about something else. Just wanted to see, could I get a room here? I don't know what the best way to heal up is. I got some money now. Okay, I found the pawn shop. Uh, Where's the... Where's the shopkeep? Hello? No one's there. I'm just gonna start stealing stuff. Oh, wait, they're behind here. Okay, I'm gonna sell stuff. Um, I like to sell my clothes. Fascinating photo of a corpse. This pin. 320, that's not... Uh, you know what, fine. <laughs> he doesn't like the photo of the corpse. And he won't purchase my clothing either. It is the warm glow of a well-loved memento. And now it's sold. I'm gonna sell the lieutenant's handkerchief. Um, the photo of a happy couple. Yeah, I stole that. A postcard. All right, I made a little bit of cash that I didn't really need. <laughs> I'm asking for another investment from this shopkeep. My risk-reward ratio is insane. I got 10. Yes! Oh, he's selling clothes. Uh, no, thank you. I usually just wear what I find on the street. Thank you very much. Thank you. 
I haven't paid him for damages we can't. Oh no, I'm... <laughs> I have to show how much money I have. I did it in the most horrible of ways. <laughs> Stealing from people with investment promises and selling family heirlooms. I hope you're happy, Garth, you monster. I'll pay you your bill. Oh, I thought I could rip him off, but it's all the same. Although I like this option. Slam the bills down on the counter and say, I hope you choke on it. All right, well, it's bitty bye time. <laughs> I hope I don't wake up like I did this morning. Uh, good night, Lieutenant. They gave me the same room that I just paid for. I guess they don't want to risk me breaking another one. What's with all the running? You run a lot. Is that a stand-up prison 41 practice? No, I just get lost a lot. He's given out to me for the amount of steps I've ran. No, oh, yeah, I forgot I only have one shoe and I'm sprinting everywhere. I punish myself. See you in the morning. Yeah, I tried to go to bed before. Oh my god, I think I'm having a nightmare. <laughs> well, how am I supposed to sleep well on that bloody bed? Oh wait, hold on. <laughs> Is that meant to be me? Oh, time to go to work in the shit factory. That's the last line of my dream that I remember and I wake up like this. I just had the most beautiful dream, uplifting and rejuvenating. No, I feel super good and <laughs> just in denial. I have a new objective for the day. <laughs> That's what he wants to do. Go out there and seize the day. Look how healthy I look though. Although my selfie looks no better. That's my first Tinder picture and I've got zero matches for some reason. Good morning. <laughs> Maybe for you, I have to look at you. I've got some good news. He's about to lecture me on how I should be a cop, but I don't want to. Oh, he took care of the body. Well, that's probably good because I was just going to let him out there in the yard decomposing. I don't know if I was ready to let him go. <laughs> I was kind of talking to him. Oh no, oh no, just don't make eye contact. Walk away. <laughs> I sold her pin and I never want to talk to her again because I feel guilty. So apparently I have to confront these people, but that sounds difficult. Can I do anything else instead? You should talk to this Imperial here. Oh, karaoke? You see, Kim, this is what we should be doing. We should be starting our music career and not being cops. My soul is immense, whatever that means. The thing is, those pop-ups are all part of my character's brain, I believe. At least that's how I'm seeing it. So in my character's head, he wants to do karaoke rather than solve this murder. I have a feeling like I'm not going to be able to do it, though. I think I have to get to an area that I'm not allowed to go to yet. Hey, kid, you got any speed? Kudos filling bathtubs with that shit. I, he actually has drugs. Is he a dealer? It's not Kuno. It's Kuno S. But no, I thought I was rolling to get speed. What was this for? This was part of an older conversation. Interesting how or act on us. Try and separate them. Oh no, come on, kid. I need I need to get drugs from you. It's a quest. <laughs> you don't know the half of it. She's not crazy. She's insane. Dangerous. She smoked a man. Oh my god, he's whispering all the secrets to me. He's tattling on the other one. Listen, look, it's great. Yesterday, I would have loved this information to, you know, throw her in jail. But today, I want speed. Well, I've made friends with this kid now, now that I've asked for drugs. He just admitted they didn't do it, and I, I believe him. And so does my brain here. Yes, okay, he just gave me, like, his whole life story, and it's actually, yeah, he, he has it rough, to be fair. But yeah, I, I want drugs. Yeah, what do you want? Don't hook him up with shit, Kuno! Shut up! <laughs> See, relax. He respects the Kuno. Thanks, Kuno. <laughs> Kuno and his dad had a little falling out. Now Junkie's clawing at Kuno's door. Oh, I'm gonna have to find his dad. Dirty Popo Man is you. In there is Kuno's violent dad on steroids. Oh, great. It sounds like a final boss. If you can take him, you can have half the speed. <laughs> okay, sounds reasonable. Are you sure you can take on the most violent man in Revishaw? Yes, I am. I could say I'm going in there for justice. I'm a narc, you know. I'm going to confiscate that crap. Or I could say I'm going in there for justice. I'm a narc, you know. I'm going to confiscate that crap. Lie. You need speed. In bracket. But I think my guy's actual answer would be I'm going in there all guns blazing to get that speed because I need it. I think I now work for this child. What the hell are you signing us up for here? Oh yeah, sorry Kim, I forgot you were kind of blending in with the background. I'm gonna kill Kuno's dad. Cool. <laughs> really? What? Alright Kim, let's go! This is a wall on the side of an apartment building. Yes, it is. Um, conceptualization, impossible. Why am I looking at this wall? Yeah, go for it. You have no clue. Yeah, I failed. <laughs> It is just a wall. I just had a massive conversation with this person trying to get into the apartment building and then they just 
didn't let me. He did point at a stone because I passed a skill check. So there better be a key under that stone. Come on, please. Yes, a key. I imagine there was nothing. It would have been the biggest bait ever. I can't believe the final boss of the game, Kuno's dad, is right behind this door. Oh, I found glasses in the bin. <laughs> I think they're a little bit broken, but whatever. It makes me smarter, apparently. So I'm putting them on. Oh, wait, this is apartment 12. The first one I looked into. Use the cutters on the chain. I have cutters? Oh, yeah, I do. I know there's no stopping you, but let's at least make this quick. Why is Kim so on board with this? Kim is cooler than we first thought, I think. I guess he's probably just used to the constant corruption in this city. Taking a little glance around, I, I see a bed in there. I don't suppose he's just sleeping? <gasps> we found the speed! All right, take the speed. Oh, I hear snoring. I guess he is asleep. Where the hell did I put my gun? <laughs> I could have sworn I got it back. I must have misread something. Uh, maybe I can level up something to help me. I've been saving them in case I need them. Is there any sucker punch skill? <laughs> Here it goes, nothing. Pull the blanket off. Oh. Oh, okay. He's not like a big muscly dude. Kim, is this thing even alive? He's trying to say something in his sleep. Figure out what he's trying to say. I'm not going to be able to do this. Yeah. Oh, wait, he's waking up. I took your amphetamine, old man. So do I... Do we just leave him there? <laughs> well, I'm taking pants. I came here for a boss fight and I want my loot, goddammit. As if the guy wasn't doing badly enough, I took his pants. I'll have a matching outfit eventually. I'm getting there. Hey, boss, I took care of the drug situation. <laughs> All right, so you got Kuno's kilo. That's how we split it. It's the best way. Streetway? I'm keeping it. You don't need more drugs. You're 12. No, all right. Fair is fair. <laughs> wow. <laughs> there is no movement on the lieutenant's face. <laughs> <laughs> Kim is so disappointed. Now that the final boss is taken care of, me and Kim have one last score to settle. Don't go breaking my heart. Take it away, Kim. I couldn't if I tried. Oh honey, if I get restless. Baby, you're not the kind. I do love a happy ending, especially if it's musical. So we will let those two lovers be happily ever after. And I hope you enjoyed the video. You can check out more of my content here. And I hope to see you next time. Bye for now.